The plan is simple. Enter the auction as a merchant wishing to bid on exotic artifacts. We know they want the hairpin, and we know they will be at the auction. They already let it slip through their fingers once. When the hairpin appears, I will watch the crowd and make sure to obtain it. That will secure a meeting with this treasurer. I am fully confident they will bid on it, whatever the cost. Yes. I will gather as much information as I can about this treasurer before the auction starts. For someone in their position, there will be no lack of whispers. The first feather without a head. It is your duty to find the right one. Do not let yourself get distracted. Focus on the mission at hand. It does no one good to linger on things that do not exist. This is real. I understand. Silence is better for the wise, and how much more so for fools. Havan Muvaffaran. Do you think we need luck? There is a rot in Karch, treasurer. Property stolen, merchants extorted, foreigners tormented. Corruption is rank and everywhere. But you are at its heart. Even now, your poison spreads along the East Road to lands untouched by the Order's venom. I hear you hunger for a hairpin, one up for auction at the Da'irat al-Mal. I will play the rival for your heart's desire and draw you from the shadows. The man, no physician to attend him. Sheikh Arraz 
Messi has published a new treat. Men who are obsessed, search for your symptoms and discover your own remedy. Should have known you would be here, Kong. Ha! <laughs> you know me. Come, let us chat. I do have something to ask of you. Do you have any information about the treasurer? Someone who works for the Khilafah? The treasurer? Hmm. I do have something, but... You know, it hurts to give precious information for free. What job do you need doing now? <laughs> Already know what is on my mind, eh? You see, little Finch, the Da'irat al-Mal is not only an important event for the upper class of Kach, but also for thieves. Did someone take something of yours again? A precious ceramic saucer. Luca has it. He has always been jealous of me. Ah, where do you think it is? I knew I could rely on you, little Finch. You should be able to find it in the crates near his stall. Be right back. Do not tell me it's Kong and Luca again. Oh, not them this time. Another pair of traders fighting to get a stall near the auction. This must be the stall Kong mentioned. Now to find that plate.
Trust Kong to own a plate like this. Now maybe he will tell me what he knows about the treasurer. Hmm. Suspicious activity on the rooftops. Here, Little Finch delivers once again. Just the very thing I need to complete my set. I thought this was yours. It is now. Anyway, listen close. I was having my usual afternoon tea when I overheard two ladies speaking about an order they fulfilled for the Dayadat Al Mal. They made a beautiful rope for the treasure with intricate Eastern embroidery. Open your eyes to that. Eastern wear. Thank you, Kong. The treasurer is likely a foreigner from the East. is not something the treasurer appreciates. I repeat, the treasurer... Not something we can rush, yes, eh, that The treasurer will not be happy. Neither will I. I know that. The perfume creation is complex. We are already doing our best. Your best is not enough. Come. We talk elsewhere. There are ears in the walls. That woman mentioned the treasurer. I should keep my ears close. The treasurer is fond of the Kinar, as you know. No one is more unhappy than three dozen bottles go missing. With the hard work of holding my supplies, production has been slow, yes, I heard that. Certain incidents there have also made our situation difficult. You are not telling me exactly what it is we are missing. The uh, blood, my lady. The blood is essential in the scent. It is what makes the Kina perfume special. We must have it. I will talk to the Halifa. See what we can do. The treasurer will have to wait for her supply. This perfume? On the tax collector's letters? I thought it smelt like iron. 
Was it blood? This woman could be from the Khalifa's inner circle. She knows the treasurer. I must speak to her. Assalamu alaikum, ya Sayyidati. Wa alaikum assalam. I could not help but overhear, Sayyidati, about the perfume. It is not courteous to eavesdrop. Seeing as you are an admirer, you are pardoned. My name is Kabiha, the woman behind the kina. It has a unique scent. Rose, honey, sandalwood. And if you heard, a sliver of blood. Blood? I should have guessed. I had thought it might be iron. Blood is born from iron, is it not? But because of that detail, it proves difficult to bring in large quantities. If it is so exclusive, it must be popular amongst officials. I think I caught a scent of it near the treasurer. Ning uses the kina. She is quite taken with its rich mystique, as are many. Curious. You do not look like one who is interested in the art of perfumery. It is unwise to judge someone by how they look. Indeed. Did I not catch your name? Basim. Basim. I must not waste any more of your time. I wish you a wonderful time at the Da'irat al-Mal, Ya Sayyidati. So, the treasurer is a she, and her name is Ning. An exclusive union for the merchants of high society. I should have expected this to exist. I do not care what you have to do! Burn them, or murder their dogs if you have to! Understood, Sayyidi. We will retrieve your coin from the merchant stall on the morrow, at all cost. Why not today? Yeah, you lot are getting more incompetent by the day. Useless. Huh? Who's... <laughs>
Come upstairs and look at my words, ya sadiqi. Things you've never seen before in Baghdad. Exotic Chinese artifacts. Here only. Nowhere else. Don't be shy. Come closer and be amazed at my selection upstairs. <laughs> Ahlan, Ahlan, come upstairs and look at my words. Assalamu alaikum. You mentioned Chinese artifacts. Yes, friend. Welcome, welcome. You will surely find something of interest here. Longing for the exquisite, ya sadiqi? I have ornaments that hail from the Far East on auction. Rare vases, delicate teacups. But the hairpin is my prize. One of a kind. A beauty even the treasurer asked about. Wait, the hairpin? Where is it? It's going to be up for auction. If you wish to purchase it, make sure to bring a good bag of coin. A hairpin from the east. This must be the item El Kululu was after for the treasurer. I must look out for it at the auction. The auction should be starting soon. Yasas, Nihao, hello. It is the time of year again to fulfill your deepest yearning, to listen to your heart's desire and purchase what God has shown us. It brings me great joy to welcome all of you esteemed individuals to our annual Dairat al -Mal. First on our exclusive captivating list of exotic odds and ends, we have a stunning statue from India. Made of ivory and crafted by the finest artisans, it will be a perfect addition to any home. Oh, hmm. what do we have? One bidder already. No, two. Calling once, twice, 
A third? Would anyone like to best that prize? No? So, this piece goes to the lovely lady. Next, we have a one-of-a-kind ethereal beauty. This hairpin hails from the east. And look at the detail on the dragon. Perfect as a collectible, and even better as a gift for a certain lady friend you might have. So, so what is this piece worth to you, Ya Azdekhai? One, for the treasurer who graced us with her presence. Ning, the treasurer. Two. Any others? Hmm. We have a mm. third there. Oh, yeah. who owns it again? Number three, what will you do? How much do you want this, my friends? Reach into your heart, listen to your desire. Sold to the man over there. Kindly collect your item from my associate after the auction. Now, moving on. And we thank you once again for making the Dairatul Mal a success. May your purses be ever full and your heart ever longing. I have to get the hairpin from that man. Why would the treasurer want it her? so badly? Her calmness great. Like a long, shiny star against a dark night. If only I could speak to her. I have an appointment with the treasurer. Move aside. Apologies. My instructions were clear. No brooch, no entry. Do you know who I am? I need to speak to the treasurer. I was called. Summoned. Assalamu alaikum. I'm here to see the treasurer. On what business? I... I am a simple merchant, hoping for advice and wisdom. If you do not have exotic offerings and are not part of the ivory coin, be gone. There will be no audience for riffraff. Assalamu alaikum. You again. What is it now? I... I am a simple merchant, hoping for advice and wisdom. If you do not have exotic offerings and are not part of the ivory coin, be gone. There will be no audience for riffraff. Found him. Now to quietly borrow the hairpin. This beautiful hairpin is mine. What poor fool. This could I be my only chance, chance to meet the, the treasurer. I must get that hairpin. Ah, Intricate ah, and beautiful indeed. This is nothing like these ancient objects the Order is seeking. 
I must confront Ning. This is proof that I am of the Merchant's Guild. Look, see? With respect, that does not entitle you to three bags of saffron, two of vanilla, and a bottle of honey without a single coin. Impossible! Bah! This is a waste of my time. Hello! Spices for you? Trouble with customers. No more than usual. These people from the Ivory Coin think themselves touched by God himself. The Ivory Coin? I... I should not speak about it. I do not know much, really. Is this enough for some information? Well, it will not hurt to tell you what I know. The Ivory Coin is an exclusive merchant's guild. They have a brooch that grants access to certain places. How do you obtain this brooch? I hear only respected merchants are part of the Ivory Coin, and that you can only be invited by another member. They think their status gives them permission to take goods without coin. <laughs> have you ever seen such vanity? This is expected in Karch. Thank you. No brooch, no entry. You know how this works. Yes, but I left my brooch in there. Do you not see the problem here? No brooch, no entry. You left a nasty scar, as you've seen. to move. Hey, stand back. I know you don't get angry often, but 
چی خوردی؟ بستی؟ The Chamber of Antiquities is the treasurer's haven. I need to find a way in. This must be the ivory coin's brooch. Shiny. I have both trinkets. The guard will have to let me in now. Assalamu alaikum. You again. What is it now? I have something that she wants. A Chinese hairpin from the auction. I also have my brooch with me here. Very well. You may enter. This way, Sayyidi. I have been looking forward to meeting the treasurer. It is an honor. Indeed, Sayyidi. She is busy, and her time only allows for a few rare appearances. I have never seen so many treasures in one place. This is Go away! Make. I wonder if you really are the expert we claim to be. This plate is priceless, I swear it! Treasurer, Ning, if only you... Go! Leave the bar. Forget the plate out of my sight. Perhaps the dogs and the soup can use it for their meal. <sighs> Standards are too high. One has to be careful not to get bitten in there. Please refrain from speaking about the treasurer inappropriately. You may enter. Oh. You are a new face. My name is Basim. New to Baghdad, but not to trade. I deal mostly in fine antiques and collectibles. You must have a good eye for detail, then. What have you brought me, Basim? You know what I brought. A man not to be toyed with. Come, show it to me. Is it? Ever seen something like this? So perfect. So delicate. No. But I am surprised that you have not. I do have a pension for them. When I was but a child, my sisters and I would tie our hair with sticks. 
adorned them with stone. I pretended they were the rarest gems. We had nothing, but we felt that we had it all. There are many reasons why people see me. For advice, a taste of power, and most often, to win favor. Why have you come, Basim? As a fellow collector, I have heard much about you from others. Your extravagance, your taste. I wish to learn... Did they say I was lucky? I loathe the word. When I first arrived in Baghdad, I was one of many seeking my fortune. Now, I have even the East wrapped around my fingers. I clawed my way here where many gave up, preferring to spare their nails. But me? I don't mind a few scratches, a bit of blood. Surely there have been connections. The people you met that helped you get to where you are. No matter what others say, you only have yourself. No one else. Everything prospers when family is harmonious. Family? The word has no meaning. The notions, even more so. Only the self hears the deepest whispers of your soul and accepts you whole. No one lives alone. But we die lonely. In the end, we are absolutely, simply, truly, Alone. Turn to the bureau.
Basim, how did you fare? The streets are alive with talk about the auction. Rumors spread quickly. It was this woman, Ning. A woman holding the reins. She must have angered many. Angered and enthralled, in equal parts. It is no wonder she kept her identity hushed. Now the upper echelons of affluent louts are soiling their silk robes. Wondering if they are next. The Order will not stop here. If they have reached the East, then there is no telling how far they will spread. Did you see it? The Jenny? It... Uh, it is gone now. It is gone. Rest while you can. Our work is not done yet. I cannot keep them waiting. Are they aware, your companions, that their hunter is hunted in his sleep? If it were in my sleep alone, I could bear it. But it followed when I fled Anbar. Now it stalks me when I slay those I hunt. The ones from the palace, in the masks. Four are dead at my hand. The last, the head of the snake. We'll join them soon. Why slit its throat when you could loosen its tongue? What? Why would I- The Jinni only struck in sleep. It never dogged you by the day until you reached into that chest. The masked one's prize what lay within. The ancient object that woke at your touch. They may hold more answers living than dead. I hunt my enemies. I do not break bread with them. I took an oath, Nihal. How can you hunt when you are hounded? If you could walk the dark unburdened, you could better serve the light. I stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent, 
not from the Order of the Ancients. If you will not ask your foes, then at least ask your friends what slept in that chest. And why they sought it. My companions wait for me at the Harbia Bureau. Clear your mind, Basim. Focus on the task before you. You took your time. Did you wait up, Master? I wait for no man. You look tired. Nothing a little adventure won't fix. What news? Ali thinks the time is right to attack the palace. The Oyun are distracted and the people divided. Divided how? Some are claiming the new Khalifa stole the throne from Abu Abdullah. 
son of al Mutabakil. What do you know of him? Little. He was there at the palace, the night his father. The night I reached into that chest. Master, have we learned anything more about the object within? Why do you ask? It seems a shame we know so little about something the Order prized so much. Should we not seek to know our enemies better, the better to defeat them? Barhaban Basim, have I interrupted? No. We must turn to the task at hand. Of course, Abu Abdullah. Rebecca tells me you have met his mother, Khabiha. I did. I think she could be first among our foes. She, or Arib the poet, or Muhammad the governor. All three had ties to our enemies. Muhammad ibn Tahir. His cousins govern the land on which Alamut sits. Their protection is all that shields us from our enemies. I cut our enemies' legs beneath their master. Let me strike while their stumps are bloody. I will unmask them and learn their intent. Basim is right. We must act swiftly. Go to the Round City. Investigate all three, but take no further action. Reports back to me atop the house of the previous hill. Welcome, welcome! Have you any new tools for me? Be my guest. Nothing else? If you can improve this in any way... Take a look! Seen enough? I am in your debt. Farewell. Poet, politician, and concubine. I will soon know which one wears the mask. Fulav, my finder of facts, my fielder of questions. How can I be of help, Basim? Tell me about Arib. Her words were as scripture to members of the Order. 
a gifted artist and poetess, Arib won her freedom through her skill. Tabit tells me she keeps a luxurious home in the round city. Anything else? What do you know of Kabiha? She had ties to the treasurer. Born to slavery, Kabiha rose to become Al Mutawakkil's favorite concubine in the harem. Yet her son was not made Khalifa, leaving her future uncertain. Anything else? Tell me about the governor. I saw him give orders to Wasif at Turkey. Muhammad is one of the Tahirids, powerful viceroys of the Khalifas in Persia. He governs all Baghdad from his seat at the courts. Anything else? Where can I find our suspects? All three live within the glorious round city, the power center of the Abbasid Khilafa. Anything else? Shukran, Fulad.
What beautiful homes, far different from the slums of Anbar. Hope she is home. from my guest? This is my house. Bought with my generosity. Bought by my genius. For tokens, favors, and personal dedications, you may find Sayeda Arib in the garden after her recital. Good day. You must be her patron. It is an honor, Sayyidi. If I may, I seek a private audience with the poetess. Do you? I have been moved beyond words by her words. Symmetry of sky and sea. I only wish to express my sincere admiration. Pretty words. Nearly as pretty as hers, and just as false. We both know what mask she wears, don't we? Mask, Sayidi. Enough, Sayidi. I know what you are, and I know why you've come. You think I haven't seen you skulking in the shadows? She's no longer party to your plots, your secret meetings, your foolish nicknames. I have scrubbed her clean of them. For I have set a watch on her door. My men dog her recitals. Every letter she's had of you I have shredded or sent back. Sent back? You will find them piled at the postal bureau. Burn them, bury them. Do what you will. You can choke on them for all I care. Foolish nicknames, secret meetings. The patron may have thought me a member of the Order of the Ancients. The piles of letters at the Postal Bureau may reveal more. Let us see what mask you wear, poetess.
torn, but here is a fragment. Let the hunter set his snares. A Thaleb will not be bound. The Order does love their coded names. Perhaps she fears Hidden Ones hunt her. Still, I need more than this. I will do as the Boyun do, sift through strangers' mail and sniff out conspiracies. Some of those pale, long hair killed a couple. They are wild, but still formidable. <laughs> After the honey drips from her lips, 
a Thaleb leaves the garden and follows the mouse. Secret order correspondence? Bad poetry? A bit of both? Harib could be a Thaleb. The patron spoke of a recital in the gardens. I could give this letter to Harib and see where the vixen leads me. Dearest Harib, your poetry has touched me deeply. You are my oasis, lush and yearl qaraf. Silence your song of sin or I will do it for you. How kind. Moving on. I will go to the garden, give Athalab her letter, and follow where she goes. as the cobra, but lunge in my be you ocean, desert, cobra, dove, all shapes and humors will I embrace. Hello there. Have we met? Come, don't be shy. I rarely bite and I never leave a mark. <laughs> it seems there's no privacy in the public eye. How came you by that letter? Who put you up to this? I work in the dark to serve the light. <laughs> I've met the men who serve the light. It seems its glare oft leaves them blind. Are your masters so blinkered and bumbling? You were warned, you son of a dog. Come a reap, we will set no tongues to wagging here. Yours is the tongue that will not still itself, even when I beg for silence. You spurned the counsel of he who raised you, and without whom you would still be nothing? I raised myself. I authored myself. I have written myself into history. You are banished from my pages. Now be gone! How can I leave you to walls such as these? You're a woman alone, unarmed. Words are weapons enough for me. Then let us see what defense they offer. Take her. There is somewhere the Sayida needs to be, and you are delaying her. It seems that words can summon shields. We will need to make this quick. Ah! 
Karib has left for her secret meeting. I must hurry. The letter commanded Athalam to leave the garden and follow the mouse. Perhaps Arib is not lost to me yet. How far will the fox flee? Yet another painted mouse. Fighting with the Amir of Baghdad back in 38. I'll teach you my shoulder fence. It's always good. Not interesting. Go. Another crumb to follow. I am growing tired of this chase.
You should bring him before the Mandalian court. But he thinks only of my reputation, Sarah. To safeguard success, I must be palatable, discreet. He fears I am too proud. <laughs> you? Never. I write that love is feral and free, unbound by stricture or statute. Should I not practice what I publish? Practice makes perfect. It also makes enemies. So be it. But let me choose them. Courtiers, caliphs, patrons, partners. So many men have tried to decide my enemies. <laughs> and friends. Though Allah knows I once chose poorly, he hid himself well. And the poet needs patrons, even one so great as Alpala. Well, I have my pick. Good. There's troubled times ahead. I will be fine. I have survived six caliphs. I will survive... Six more. Don't worry, Sarah. I'll kiss the rings I need to kiss, but I will not be bound again. Not by anyone. Secret meetings. Coded names. There is no trace of the order here. Still... She has her pick of patrons. Maybe the head of the order is not Harib herself, but an admirer. I'm 
מוטרד עקב Madalim courts are close. Grant me strength! Enkidu can scout ahead safely now. The Madalim courts are close. Derwish once told me it is where the commons can appeal when justice itself is dealt unjustly. My father once said, To know the measure of a man, ask those who work beneath him. These judges must know the governor better than most.
Abu Abdullah should be tried for treason. If you were in my court, why I... Well, it is better left unsaid. Drop it. Thief! Call the watch! Mm. Where can I hide? Greetings, Sayyidi. I wonder if I could ask you some questions about the governor, Muhammad ibn Tahir. I am not underpaid to answer questions. I suggest you make this worth my time. Otherwise... Would you accept this token of appreciation from a humble citizen? Hmm. I would. As a start. I serve justice, not spoil it. Take your money. Now, what do you know about the governor? He's feared, respected, dedicated to the rule of law, order. That is all you know. You work here. Muhammad ibn Tahir keeps office at the courts. At the shorter courts, not the Mathalim. He does keep spies here. One scuttles back to his office every day at noon. Goodbye now. لا يوجد أثر حتى الآن كأني كنت أحلم المرة السابقة ربما 
messenger could lead me to the governor's office and whatever secrets he buries there. Roshan scolding me now. Perhaps I can redeem this failure tomorrow. sights and avoid unwanted attention.
stay where I can see you, would you? Derwish always warned me I would be dragged to the Shoppa. Who would have imagined I would walk in willingly? Welcome here. Go. Yeah! 
have you. We don't lie. You're the Yes. Yeah. This is bad. Ah! 
Ignore me. Hey, 
Wait, what? No. Oh. Alhamdulillah. في أمان الله يا صديقي
محمد ابن طاهر's office at last. The governor has been tracking the rebels and the hidden ones. Abu Abdullah swears allegiance to the Khalifa and that he will not seek the throne himself. A man who puppets the powerful, who seeks to purge the hidden ones at Alamut. I have seen enough. Ocean, desert, cobra, dove. It seems he is an admirer of Arib the poet. Keep at it.
You can tell your masters I've had copies made. Shred that page, slit my throat. Our bargain stands. My masters? The Mast Cabal, the Order of... I don't care. Are you not in their service? Are you not in their service? I serve the Khalifa. I serve Allah. And I do it without hiding my face. Now, if you'll excuse me. Why were you giving commands to Asif at Turkey? A member of the Order? The brute was stoking the fire of a thousand rebellions. Thankfully, someone spared me the trouble of putting him down. A hidden one, I heard. Hmm. Are you the one to thank? I read your letters. You forced your cousins to remove their protection from Alamut. You sold us to our enemies. And bought peace to Baghdad. You've already helped yourself to the receipt. Abu Abdullah's oath of allegiance. What does he have to do with anything? His ambition would have torn the Khalifa apart. I offered the Order Alamut. They gave me assurance he'd threaten us no more. So to trap a fox, you loose a wolf. The Order will see Baghdad burn, Governor. History will judge you for this. History can hang me for it. I'll leave this world knowing that there is courage in compromise. There is also cowardice. How old are you? I was about your age when I came to this city. Righteous beyond reproach. What happened? I grew up. If you really wish to spare Alamut, turn that blade on your enemies. Give me their name. The one you brokered the deal with. I could. But if you fail, then I die. And I'd prefer not to. Now, I have things to do. No hard feelings. Guards! Mm. So the day ends with me fleeing the short bar after all. Quick, for the governor! Mm. Stab you! <laughs> They are looking for me.
They say the harem is home to hundreds, secluded and kept from sight of men. This place may be more secret than Alamut. Order or no, Governor Muhammad is no friend to the Hidden Ones. I need to get rid of these. <laughs> Poor likeness. <laughs> Better keep a low profile. Hey. Cast your gaze in Kidu. They say no man may enter the harem unless he is a eunuch or the Khalifa himself. I am neither, so this could be interesting. Do not even think about it. Keep walking. That was friendly. I will have to find another way in. Show me everything. wanes. Her followers dwindle by the day. Kabiha is a great woman, Farah. <laughs> she was, while al Mutawakil lived. But her son did not succeed him, and her time has come and gone. When the tide ebbs, will you be swept with it to the sea? I do not like to get involved in politics, Nasreen. Please. We know what you are. Enough! The new eunuchs will be arriving any minute. Meet them at the gate, Makira and try not to make a mess of it. Come, Nasreen. New servants mean new faces in the harem. If I had a eunuch's uniform, I could slip in among them. <laughs> 